Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here once again. In 1979, Sony changed the way we think about music with the introduction of the Walkman. In 1990, Adobe changed the way we see the world with the introduction of Photoshop. In 2007, Apple changed the way we think about telephones with the introduction of the iPhone. And in 2023, SparkFun is changing the way we collect, store, and transmit data with the introduction of the new SparkFun Data Logger IoT 9 DOF. This board is unlike anything that SparkFun has released in the past. The board uses the ESP32 Room 32E module with its integrated 802.11 BGN 2.4 GHz transceiver configurable via CH340C. The board also has a MAX 17048 LiPo fuel gauge and a built-in MCP73831 single-cell LiPo charger with a minimum charge rate of 500 milliamps. So don't put a LiPo in there that's too small. There's also an onboard 9 DOF IMU using an ISM330DHCX for the accelerometer and gyro and an MMC5983MA for the magnetometer. Its operating range is 3.3 to 6 volts via VIN, 5 volts with USB either via 5V pin or USB Type-C, 3.6 to 4.2 volts with a LiPo battery via BAT pin or 2-pin JST, or 3.3 volts via the 3V3 pin. The board has, as mentioned, one USB Type-C port. It's also got one JST-style LiPo port, two quick connectors for I2C communication, and one micro SD socket with support for 4-bit SDIO and micro SD cards formatted to FAT32. There are also LEDs for charge, status, and a programmable WS2812-2020 addressable RGB with jumpers for each to allow you to disable them for decreased power draw or to operate in stealth mode along with jumpers for IMU interrupt, magnetometer interrupt, I2C pull-up resistors, and USB shield. And of course, a pair of buttons for boot and reset. Now at this point, you might be thinking, Rob, we were led to believe that this was gonna change the way we thought about data. So what do you do? You, you take it, you write up a sketch in maybe Arduino, tell it what to do, you put in a micro SD card, you record some data, take the micro SD card, put it in your computer, and there's your data, right? No, no, you do so much less than that, while at the same time, you have the capability of doing so much more. Uh, the Data Logger IoT 9 DOF is, for all intents and purposes, a plug and play, no coding necessary, Wi Fi enabled data logger that is capable of auto detecting about 50 of our quick sensors and automatically recording that sensor data to a CSV file without you doing anything. Let me repeat that Data Logger IoT 9 DOF, plug and play, no coding necessary able to auto-detect about 50 quick sensors at the time of this filming, Wi-Fi enabled, cost-effective data logger. Seriously, if you just plug in a micro SD card and power it up, you are instantly recording that data from whatever sensors are connected to it, including the onboard sensors. Heck, even without a micro SD card, you can plug this into your computer via USB cable, open up a serial terminal at 115.2, and it will instantly start spitting out data at you. Here, watch. Okay, so really we just need to make sure that we've got the correct COM port selected. Terminal window, make sure we are at 115200. Hit reset on the board and there you go. Just like that, we're capturing data. Now you may have noticed an info menu show up in the terminal window when I first connected the data logger IoT. And I will talk about that. But the first thing I wanted to show you was simply the plug and play functionality of the board for basic data recording. Now you saw a ton of numbers being recorded, and that's because without any configuration, the data logger IoT 9 DOF will take everything that every sensor it recognizes is spitting out. So without even connecting any other sensors to this board, it's already automatically recording the data from the three onboard sensors. That's the LiPo fuel gauge, the magnetometer, and the IMU, which has the accelerometer and the gyro. And of course, those last three things are giving you X, Y, and Z, and that's why you've got all those numbers. Of course, I'm sure you're not gonna to wanna to just do this with the board by itself. So let me hook up another couple of sensors to it and we'll take a look at that start menu. Now, we all know that quick sensors, I2C sensors, are usually hot swappable. But when you're recording data to a file, that can mess with the file itself. It may lock on all zeros or lock on the last value that it had before you connected or disconnected the sensor. So in this case, it's best to just power it down 
plug in your extra sensors, and then power back up. All right, now let's take a look and see what we've got. And when you connect the board and open the serial terminal, you should see a host of information about the board, such as the IoT version here, Wi-Fi credentials, connected devices, current date and time, which uh, by default is set to January 1st, 1970 at midnight, if you don't have any outside uh, time sources like an RTC or anything. Uh, you'll also see the board name and ID and several other things, including the number of recognized sensors. Now, since I added a distance sensor and a gas sensor, the screen will let us know that it recognizes five sensors. Once it's initialized, the data logger IoT will start spitting out that information we saw earlier as comma-separated values, you know, a CSV file, a uh, spreadsheet, basically. Uh, pressing any key in your serial terminal program will stop the flow of information and bring you to the main settings menu. And here's where you can start getting into the full depth of the data logger IoT. Here, you'll create your Wi-Fi connection for the ESP32. And once that's established, you can really start bringing the IoT of data logger IoT into play. You can create an MQTT connection, then work with something like uh, ThingSpeak, uh, AWS, Azure, and more, and begin to incorporate that data into your own IoT system. Now, I could get carried away here and just keep going because there's so much amazing stuff that this board can do. It's really cool and really exciting to me. But I just wanted to give you an introduction and a basic look, kind of whet your appetite for what's possible with this board. Our team here did an amazing job with this board, uh, with the hardware, the firmware, uh, the hookup guide. The hookup guide is so good and is going to take you so in-depth into what you can do with this. I'm actually still working through it now, and I plan on bringing you some of the uses I come up with for it. Of course, assuming there are, let's say, a million of you out there watching the one of me here, well, you're going to come up with a million more things to do with it. And honestly, at SparkFun here, we kind of think that you all are going to come up with so many applications for this that we haven't even dreamed of, and we're excited to find out about them. So pick up your data logger IoT 9 off and don't forget a micro SD card if you don't have one or half a dozen of them lying around like most of us do, and start recording all the data about all the things around you. Get yours over at sparkfun.com, and of course, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. Typity, typity, typity. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not typity, not typity, not typity. Not a bit much? Uh, a, a bit, bit. A bit <laughs> braggadocious, precocious, maybe? <laughs>